welcome to today's prenatal yoga sequence for our lower body. Now I've designed this class to be safe for all three trimesters of pregnancy, but as always, I just want you to work with your body. And if there's anything that doesn't feel comfortable, sit back and rest where you need to. If you're new to Element, welcome. My name is Jennifer. I'm a Pilates and yoga teacher, and I specialize in women's health. I'm also 30 weeks pregnant with my second baby. And these shorter workouts I'm finding are really helpful as I get towards the end of pregnancy in days I don't quite have the energy for a full length class. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way I can keep you up to date with all the new videos and tutorials that get posted each week. If you have any questions, you can always place them down into the comments below. I also have a free prenatal health and exercise guide available. This walks you through all of the things that we should and shouldn't be doing in terms of exercise during pregnancy. If you would like a copy of that, you can follow the link, which I've also listed below. All right, when you're ready, let's get started. We'll begin standing. Bring your feet down to hip distance apart. Now, if you're feeling a little tight in your pelvis and you'd like to take your legs wider to feel more comfortable, that's completely fine. We'll start by bringing the hands to the lower belly, standing up nice and tall and straight through the crown of the head. Roll those shoulders up back and down just to release any neck tension. When you're ready, we'll gently close down through the eyes. And to start, we bring that awareness to the breath. Taking a long, deep inhale through the nose. And a complete exhale all the way out. Keep going with those, starting to lengthen your exhale just a little. Just taking this moment at the start of our class to find stillness and check in with your body and your baby. Feeling that rise and expansion of the belly on your breath in and that softness on your exhale. Take one more breath here. And let it go, release. Open your eyes now. We'll come to the very tops of the mat. Good, keeping those feet again about hip distance apart. Good, straightening out into Tadasana, our tall standing posture. Softening gently into the knees. Slightly tuck that tailbone to get it out of any lower back or hip tension here. Reaching up tall through the crown of the head. Now as you inhale, sweep those arms straight up. Looking upwards, bring the hands through heart center. All the way down, good, hold here for a moment. Release as you inhale, stretch those arms back up. Exhale, pull that energy down through the center line of the body, back to your heart. Last one, inhale, reach it up. Now exhale, this time fold and bow your torso forwards. Keeping those knees soft, release your arms and your head down to the floor. All right, so only coming down as far as your belly will allow. If you need to open the legs a little wider, to feel comfortable, feel free. As you inhale, bring the hands to the front shin bones, halfway lift, stretching out into the back. Now exhale, fold forward, release down. Feel that stretch up the back of the legs into the lower spine. Now inhale, let's roll all the way up to standing. Once again, reach the arms above you. Keep the hands up at shoulder width this time. Now we come back and sit into Utkatasana, chair pose. Bring the weight into the heels, knees pointing straight out in front. Draw the shoulder blades down away from ears, warming up into your legs. Now engaging through the core, the pelvic floor muscles here to support your spine. 
Inhale, sit those hips a little bit lower. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, release it down. Inhale, roll to standing, arms above you. Once again, go ahead, sitting back down into that chair pose. Stretching out long through the spine. Go ahead, pressing into the heels of the feet. Holding here two breaths, seeing if you can sit your hips just a little lower. Last breath. And then release and fold it forwards. And now slowly rolling all the way back to the very top. And release those shoulders. Go ahead, now carefully stepping your right leg back behind you. Coming as far back into our crescent lunge position as feels comfortable for your hips and your body. So you readjust your feet to find a position that's steady for you. Now start to bend into your front leg, stretching out and extending the back leg and then lifting your shoulders over those hips. Holding here, sweep the arms above you. Good, inhale, let's sit down just a little lower into our lunge. As you exhale, rise up, open those arms out into your cactus position, opening through the heart center. Inhale, arms reach up, bend that front leg down. Two more, exhale, come up, opening across that chest. Take your time here, be careful of your balance. One more, inhale down. And exhale up, good, hold. That's it. Now stretch your arms, stretch your legs completely. Opening out now into warrior two. So your back leg is straight. Rotate that back foot so the toes are slightly turned inwards. Square your hips and your shoulders towards me. Now bending your front leg. Good, lengthen out and reach that front arm out and away from you. Looking, gaze is over the middle finger. Hold that warrior two. Sitting down just a little deeper with every inhale, engaging into the legs. Good, the glutes, the core muscles, the pelvic floor. Holding here, one more breath. Now as you inhale, reverse your warrior. Your top arm will reach up and over. Good, slide that back hand down the leg. And then exhale, come back up, extended side angle, sweep your top arm up and overhead. Good, looking gently towards the ceiling if that feels comfortable for you. As you inhale, come back to your warrior two. That's it, sit just a little lower into that front leg, hold it here and then release it. Well done. Now let's rotate all 10 toes to face towards the front. Bring your hands onto your hips, square off through the front of the body. Keeping your back straight, let's hinge and fold forwards, opening out into the back of the legs, back of the hips. Now you can stay here if you wish, otherwise to increase the stretch, walk your hands down towards the mat. And then if it feels comfortable to do so, round your shoulders and let your head release down towards the floor. Deep breaths into the side, the back of the ribs, expanding through the belly. Now inhale, return back to fingertips. Straightening out your back, walk your hands to your hips and then lift that chest all the way up. Now let's rotate our heels in, toes out. You're opening your hips here so your feet are turned out about 45 degrees. Coming into your goddess pose, bring hands to your heart center. Good, standing up straight. Inhale, let's bend and lower down into those hips, hold. Draw the knees back in line with those toes. Good, release tension through the upper back, the shoulders. Keep lengthening crown of the head up to the ceiling. Lifting up and in through that root chakra, through your pelvic floor. Hold, inhale, go deeper down. And then exhale, gently release all the way up and let go through the arms. All right, let's rotate around to face the opposite direction. 
Starting again with our crescent lunge. Find a position where your feet are wide enough to get enough space into the lunge, but we're not pulling any tension into the pelvis. Good, now we bend our front leg, stretch out the back knee, open that back hip flexor and lengthen your spine up. Reach the arms high above you. Good, inhale, lunge a little lower. Exhale, come up, bend the elbows and just open that chest, cactus position. Two more, lunge, reach high. And exhale, coming up, opening the front body. One more, inhale. And exhale. Now opening your arms out into your warrior two. Now remember your back foot, the toes are slightly turned inwards. Look towards the front of your mat, reaching out through the fingertips. Gaze in line with that middle finger, bending into that front leg. Now rotating your hips and your chest towards me, but keep your gaze straight out in front. Now we inhale, lift up, reach your arms. And exhale, warrior two, sitting a little deeper. Two more, inhale, bring it up. And exhale, lower. Holding that position, one more breath. Now reverse your warrior, reach that top arm up. Good, sliding that hand down the leg behind you, opening through the side body into the ribs. And then inhale, coming up, floating your top arm, reaching it up into extended side angle. You can rotate your chest and head towards the ceiling if that feels comfortable for you. Breathe, shoulders down. And as you inhale, make your way back to your warrior two. Again, sitting just a little lower into that hip and then release and come all the way down. All right, gently rotate yourself down onto the mat. Make your way into a kneeling position with your knees hip distance apart. We'll take a seat back onto the heels. Walk your hands behind you. You've got your fingertips pointing in towards your hips. Lift and open up through the chest, the shoulders. Now on your inhale, lift your hips towards the ceiling. Good, just floating up, widening across the hip flexors through the thighs, stretching and releasing. And then float it back down. Let's take a deep breath in. Two more like this and press those hips up, opening through that chest. And lowering down, take a deep breath in. We'll do one more. And lift up, good. Reaching up just a little higher. Good, widening your collarbones. and release it down. All right, walk those hands forward. Now just take a comfortable seat on the mat with your legs stretching out in front of you. Hands can rest behind the body, just anywhere they feel comfortable here now. Flex those toes towards you and really stretch out the back of your ankles and your calf muscles. Good, then point those toes and reach the legs all the way out. Keep going with those. Good. Flex and point. And then start to alternate. So one foot will point and the other will flex. This is a great way to release any swelling or tension that you might have in your ankles. Let's do one more on each leg. And then flex both feet back up and let's turn the hips out and in. Good. So getting as much internal and external hip rotation as possible. Just really feeling like the thigh bones draw inwards, open out. So the movement comes from the very top of the hips. One more here. Good. Then make your way back to center. Come into a comfortable seat to finish ourselves off. So if you're comfortable sitting with cross legs, feel free to come here. If you need to prop yourself up on a towel or a blanket or maybe a small cushion, that's fine too. 
Now we're going to bring our left hand to our heart center and our right hand to the lower belly. Good. Create some length through your spine and when you're ready, close the eyes. Bring that focus back to our breath. Good, feeling that energy racing through the body now. Try to bring that calm, that stillness back to your center. Make this your last breath. Hold briefly at the very top of your inhale and then a long, slow exhale all the way down. And then when you're ready, bring your hands through heart center. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. I'll see you soon. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed our class today. As I said before, if you have any questions, please feel free to place them down into the comments below. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about prenatal health and exercise or about myself or Element, you can head over to our website, elementpilatesyoga.com. There you'll find lots of great resources to help you through your pregnancy. And there are some full length classes and programs for you to try as well. I hope to see you again soon.